The Israeli Defence Forces have, for the first time, lifted the lid on a long-known secret, the country's use of military drones. But why now? What do they want the public to know? And who are they hoping will take notice? WEON's Middle East correspondent Jody Cohen has this report. After almost two decades, Israel has revealed that it uses armed drones to strike targets. According to reports, these were used in the 2006 war with Lebanon and in 2008 in its fight with Hamas in Gaza. While Israel has not revealed how many drones it has in its arsenal, it is thought that drones have been used in targeted killings of people Israel says are involved in high-level terror activities. They've also been used in what's known as the roof-knocking technique to give warnings to residents of a building to evacuate before it's destroyed. The announcement came shortly after Russian President Putin visited Iran this week. The two countries are reportedly exploring options for alliances, including the sale of hundreds of combat drones to Russia by Iran. The news also follows repeated attempts by Iranian-backed Hezbollah in Lebanon to send drones into Israel's territory, including towards Israel's gas rig in Karish. On Wednesday, Prime Minister Lapid took a helicopter flight to the gas field in a message to Hezbollah that Israel will defend its resources. Turkey has also become a leading exporter of drones. Drones have played such an instrumental role in Ukraine's defense against Russia that they've even inspired a Ukrainian pop song filmed by soldiers there. <laughs> And on Thursday, Israel's Defense Minister Gantz is participating in the high-profile Aspen Security Conference. He's expected to meet with U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and CIA Director William Burns, among others, and Israel's drone capabilities could well come up in the talks. So why has Israel officially released this information now? It appears that it would like those who seek its destruction, such as Iran and Iranian in proxies Hezbollah and Hamas to take note. The announcement could be seen as somewhat of a deterrent because it means that Israel can act to prevent activities like the transfer of Iranian arms, for example, in Syria with the use of drones and without putting Israeli soldiers at risk. With the reported Middle East Air Defense Alliance being created as a defense against Iran, the details of which are still being kept private, this latest statement on drones becomes even more significant. This is Jody Cohn for Weon, World is One.